Our final awardee this evening is Stephanie Pier Peterson, Director of Risk and Compliance, Global Business Operations at Microsoft Corporation. She is an alumna of the Upward Bound Program at the University of Nevada, Reno. Ms. Peterson. I don't remember 1967. <laughs> I don't remember 1976. I barely remember 1985. Um, but I, as I listen to the honorees tonight and the award winners, I'm so grateful that they do and they were able to pave the way for me also, which is huge. My story begins as a transient child. I grew up between apartments and motels, and sometimes my mom took us on amazing camping trips in between those two locations. A child of a hardworking single mom who had three to five jobs at any one point in time to make ends meet, and also a child that swayed towards trouble with limited mentors and advocates to help pave the way. I spent most of my life trying to make my story go away and trying to assimilate. It actually wasn't until recently that I learned that how much it inspires others. So I promise that I will keep continuing to share my story. But tonight I wanna talk about the impact of trio, inclusion, and love. Earlier this year, I partnered with the Council for Opportunity and Education and hosted a STEM leadership panel at the National Student Leadership Congress that many of you send your students to. During that trip, I toured the National Museum of African American History and Culture and visited the, mem the memorial for Emmett Till. I was walking in silence when I passed three striking images. The first was a beautiful, black young man, 14 years of age, big eyes, big smile, looking at the camera. The second picture that I passed was the same beautiful soul, only this time his face was disfigured and swollen. The third image I passed was a picture of a mother crying over a casket. I turned to the coffin of Emmett Till and I started sobbing. And it wasn't one of these soft, eloquent cries where a tear rolls down your eye, but a really big, ugly cry. And it was a cry that deeply emphasized with the pain of that mother and the loss of that beautiful soul. I've always been a passionate about equality and the need for diversity and inclusion. But in that moment, it was vehemently clear how connected hate and inclusion are. If we do not address one, we will have the other. The next day, I sat back in the, in the mock Congress with the students. The students are placed in groups, not previously knowing each other, and given some pretty heavy topics to come up, propose a bill against. Some of the topics, transgender rights, immigration, data privacy, to name a few. Really hard topics. And by the way, they do this in five days, so maybe they can go back and give a lesson to Congress also. After the sessions, the students shared their testimonials, and one by one, they expressed their love for each other. There was a Native American boy from a reservation in Montana who, in a room of about 20% white people, mentioned that he had never been around that many white people and that he had never imagined he would connect so closely with a group of people so different from him. A young man from a rural town in Alabama and a young man from a very 
urban city, an African-American young man, embraced each other and left as best friends. And one by one, they shared this sentiment. And that was after working through some really tough topics. And so these group of students through TRIO are paving the way for inclusion and acceptance and love. And that's what TRIO is and TRIO works. I still firmly believe that TRIO will have a major positive impact on bridging the poverty gap and enabling generational wealth for families. You've heard all the examples tonight. It has for everyone here. It has for me. Um, I studied mechanical engineering. I'm a female Latina senior leader at a top global technology company on the Fortune 30 list. I'm doing well financially. I'm serving the community. I volunteer back to COE and TRIO, coach youth sports, and I'm on the board for, of the Crisis Call Center of Nevada. And I'm raising kids in a completely different world than the one that I grew up in. But TRIO gave me something even bigger than a different financial outcome. It exposed different worlds that I never knew existence, existed. It supported me in a way that initiated passion and curiosity and gave me a safe place to do that. And it guided me to respect, appreciate, and celebrate diversity. I work for an amazing company whose mission statement is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. And I'm so very grateful that I am an alumni and an advocate of a program that does the same. TRIO enabled me to envision a new future for myself, and it also ensured that I empowered others to do the same. I'm a success story of TRIO. Like many of you and many of my fellow honorees, so I'm grateful, so very grateful that TRIO is proud of me. But I'm also a citizen of the world, so I'm extremely proud of TRIO and all of you TRIO professionals here tonight. Thank you to TRIO. Thank you to my mom, Selma Lee, over there. I love you, mom. <laughs> Thank you to my family, friends, the University of Nevada, Reno, and thank you to the family of Emmett Till for their sacrifice. Have a good night. Thank you.